Hello everyone, Marfa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Death Watch from The Mandalorian. Guys, a huge shout out to Day One Collectibles for sending me this figure. If you want to get this one or any other Day One releases, make sure you check them out. I put the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now six scale and filter videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough of the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the packaging, and as you can see we have a nice picture of Death Watch in the front, with this banner now consistent with every Star Wars release. This is the side of the box, nothing there. This is the back with all the currents and warnings, small pieces. This is the other side of the box with a nicer picture of Death Watch, bottom, Star Wars. Last but not least, the top, Star Wars. Enough with the box, let's open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. And the first thing we see here is a very nice insert art with the Death Watch with a very nice pose, which by the way, stay tuned for the five poses because I put really cool poses for you guys. Now let me open this up and take a better look at the figure in the packaging. And let me just take this out. And guys, the first thing I notice, as always, the best part of the unboxing is the smell of a brand new Hot Toys. Hashtag brand new Hot Toys. <laughs> Alright guys, so now let me remove the plastic of the helmet so you guys can see all the details and I can wait to show you because I love this figure in particular, this character. So this is how you see Death Watch in the packaging with the blasters, with the flame effects, hands, base and everything else. Alright guys, so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories and we're going to start with the display base, which is a reissue, reuse, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, very similar to Luke Crate, Mando, you name it. Death Watch name tag in the front and of course underneath we have the Lucasfilm LTD and that's basically it for this base. Now moving on to the next accessory, we have this awesome jetpack and I kind of like now that we get in this with the magnet, so it's really good. You can see very nicely paint application. Love the weathering on the side with a kind of, it's, it's more like a, I don't know, like green, bluish color. I mean, maybe I'm daltonic or having issues with my colors, but I love the color palette on this one. Now the top, I don't think you can remove it, so I'm not gonna force it. You can see this flame effects, which you can put underneath the jetpack. Again, very similar to previous Mandalorian figures, so really nothing new. So you just put it like so, and you should be able to have a very nice effect for this particular jetpack. And as you can see, you can move these pieces up and down. So really like it, very happy with this. Now for the next one, we have, of course, the iconic rifle of the Death Watch. And as you can see, love the weathering here and the paint application on the handle. You can see the cannon and of course the front and the other side, love the scratches and the weathering going on on the side. And of course the top looking very, very nice. Very happy with the paint application. Now we have this pistol here. And again, love the metallic color with the black and the silver, dark silver, if you will. And of course, the scratches on the side. So far, so good with the weapons. Now for the next one, we have this Beskar piece. And the beauty of this is that it has a Velcro. So you can actually put it and remove it from the leg. So you can see very nicely painted, some dents here and there. Love the detail. And of course, last but not least, four hands. So I'm gonna show you two. And as you can see, nicely painted with a darker color on the top. And of course, very nicely sculpted underneath. And that's basically it for the hands. All right, guys, so now taking a closer look at Death Watch himself. I have to tell you, I'm very happy with this figure. This is one of my favorite characters, even though it was just on screen for like, what, two minutes? <laughs> Still, I love it. Now let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is. So my tape is telling me that this figure is about 12 and a half inches tall. All right guys, so now taking a closer look at the figure itself, you can see the details of this awesome figure. Love the helmet, very similar to Boba Fett. You can see the side very nicely painted with this. Again, bluish greenish color. This is the back, love the weathering. This is the other side. And of course, the visor looking awesome. This is the top, nicely painted. You can move this piece up and down and it will give you this effect. 
now continuing to the armor you can see the details here on the shoulders of course this is a velcro so you can remove it like so and if you want to remove the fat suit if any you can just do that now this is the front love the detail as well and of course the gauntlet you can see a lot of things going on the weathering and the paint application is really nice i love the belt design as well you can see that the gun holder on the side now this is the other side you can see the gauntlet again very similar to the other arm now underneath you can see the best car pieces and guys if you're still watching this video please don't forget to like because liking this video helps a lot and of course don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future hatus releases all right guys moving down to the boots very similar to han solo's a new hope love the weathering and i love the dirt very nicely done underneath the shoes you can see the hot toys logo there this is the side love the design you can see the pants very soft material i think it's a fat suit inside so it may limit the articulation but still you can pull really nice poses this is um death watch booty and of course the back now this is a velcro as well so if you want to remove all this by all means you can if you want and that's basically it for the figure itself now for the articulation you can move the head up this much down this much and to the sides this much it's a ball pack so very good for the arm you can lift it for about this much you can move it forward if i can mine is a bit stiff for about this much and back for about this much not bad at all then you have some swivel on the bicep and of course you can bend the elbow for about this much so really not bad on the articulation classic peg articulation on the hand now for the torso you have some swivel here and just a little bit of ab crunch so very decent in my opinion for the legs you can do a split for about this much some swivel on the thighs you can lift it forward for about this much and of course back for about this much a bit limited if you ask me you can bend the knee double join really nice and last but not least ankle pivot you have some swivel here you can move it up and down not bad at all all right guys so now let's do some comparisons and here we have a boba fett next to death watch and of course a very similar different paint application some minor changes or differences in the armor if you ask me same height now for the next one we have one of my favorite figures which is heavy mando and as you can see the heavy mando is huge but still almost almost the same height and of course last but not least i have to include best car mando and of course there's a differences on the helmet but overall they look awesome together all right guys so now let's do some poses <music>
Alright guys, my final thoughts about this figure is very positive. Started with the likeness, I think this is a really nice representation of Death Watch as we've seen in the show. This figure comes with a lot of accessories and I like the fact that we have two weapons. The jetpack is actually pretty nice with the flame effect. Now, the articulation is something that I am okay with it. It's not the best, but still you can pull really nice poses with the figure. The overall look is fantastic, love the weathering, the design, the colors, you name it. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon for my 6,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for details. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group, Six Skill Media, for anything related, one skill skill figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.